channel and thanks for joining me and if you're new to the channel welcome thanks for joining me on another shave right first of all kick it off I want to give a massive thank you from Mrs B and I to every single one of you for your love and well wishes on the comments from the last shave um, regarding the car crash it, it's really got us through the rest of this week it really has guys so thank you very much and all you guys that uh, commented on Facebook as well thank you very much right I've been looking forward to this so PAA Diver Down looking forward to using this and it's an homage to um, C4 Spice it's old classic um, aftershave between the 40s and the 60s and uh, I've never smelt it and apparently to get this scent Douglas searched and for tooth and nail to get a original bottle of the C4 aftershave and it was full God knows what you have to do with that Douglas to get, to get that and this is what he's come up with. Now the notes in this are spice rum, myrrh, spikenard, or is it spikenard, Jerusalem pine, and a dash of lavender and cinnamon. And I've written them down because I wouldn't remember that. Now to me straight away I get the cinnamon and I love cinnamon. But I get the, the spice rum. I could do with a drink but I'm on painkillers. There's a lot, there is lavender in the background. Beautiful, beautiful scent. So I'm going to be using that today. And it's, it's a very butter based soap. If you want to pause that, guys. I've had to put the lights on quite bright because it's pitch black outside. And I've got a bit of company today, haven't we? Cat wouldn't leave me alone, Molly, the eldest cat, she wouldn't leave me alone. I tried to kick her out the bathroom and she wouldn't have it, so she's there on the still. So if you hear a bit of noise, or if I trip over, I've tripped over the cat and it's her meowing. Right, brush. Brush today, I'm using my Yaki 24ml 2 band badger. And it's the Aqua handle. Beautiful, beautiful knot in this. So we're using that today and I've got to soak it in Skeletor. Razor. I thought it was like a classic sense now if we go with a classic razor. And I'm going with the Gillette Slim Adjustable. And this is one that was kindly gifted to me by Jerry. Jerry and Ruth, I hope you're okay guys. How are you doing? Yeah, what a thing of beauty history and everything now if you can see there quite a bit of overhang on the blade but if you turn it over if you can see it might be a little bit blurred because here yeah, how's that there's no overhang you can't see it but still be aware of it just in case and inside there today for the third use if i can get it the right way round i'm using the gillette spoiler if you can see that It's a bit awkward with the lights, but I have to have it bright. I'm loosening that off, and in there, sorry, today we're going to crank it up for the first pass to the highest setting, setting nine, if you can see that, guys. And I've got some in my new bowl. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. My new timeless bowl. That's a bit better, isn't it? So I'm going to try that today and I've got a little bit spread out at the bottom there. And I'm going to pre-shave. I'm going to pre-shave with the cube. Cube, the original, the scentless. And that's the box it comes in. So I'm going to wipe the CK6 because it's not the CK6 formula. So I'm going to wet the face and apply the cube. Better dry my hands off so I can grip all of it. Because it's a slicky sucker. I'm just gonna dip it in the water. 
I quite like these as well. Last time I used this, one of you guys, I can't remember, sorry, I can't, I'm not good with names. One of you guys mentioned that I, I didn't rub it in with a bit of water after I applied, and you're quite right. And the reason for that is I completely forgot. Bit awkward with broken ribs. Bit awkward doing anything. Well, I'm gonna rub that in now. Oh yeah, that's better. That's what I should have done last time. I mean, they mentioned that just in case it clogged the razor up. It didn't clog the razor up, but thank you for the heads up. Thanks for the tip. And reminded me I should have rubbed it in. Just like so. God, that's sweat. And you'll have to bear with me because I am still in a bit of pain from the, the broken ribs. Mrs B's doing well, by the way. Um, round about Wednesday, she started getting it an achy side um, she's just bruised, the bruising's come out but she's doing fine, she's doing okay it's been it's a problem I had a bit of a relapse but I'll get into that right three flicks of the brush so it's wet but not dripping oh by the way when you're soaking your brush any, any of you guys, new guys, anybody doesn't know when you're soaking the, your ball brush or badger brush whatever in water don't fill and soak it up to the to the handle. Or we fill it up to maybe the band. Because what it'll do, if if, if your water's too hot or too warm, it could damage the uh, the glue inside and it'll come away. Just a tip. Alright, let's see how this bowl goes, because I've been dying to use this bowl. And I'm definitely gonna have to add water because I, I always flicking out too much. Even just with three flakes, heavy handed. But it's loading up nicely. But I've been I've seen these bowls being used on um, all the YouTube channels and everything, the wet shavers, and I've been dying to see what it's like. Because I've been, for myself, because I've been so impressed the way it lathers up. I thought I'll get one of them. Get them over here now in the UK. But then I get this. Slick boys. I'll put a link in the description. I think it was Slip Boys. Yeah, it was. It was Slip Boys. Wow. Yes, I am impressed. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I don't know if that's too bright. I'll do my best, guys. I do apologise if it's too bright. Let me know in the comments. I don't really like shaving when it's pitch black outside, but I've had no choice today. Last dip of the, uh, the old tips. Wow. Oh wow. Right, take the bins off. Excuse me, Molly. Cat's wondering what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Let's get all out of it. I love the knot on this brush. Splays really well. Hold to lava, disperses it absolutely perfect. In my opinion. And if any of you guys have got the same brush, let me know what you think in the comments. And keep your comments coming, guys. Let me know what your shave of the day is as well. Yeah, this week's dragged for me. I mean, I'm glad it's Saturday, but it's dragged. That feels really nice on the skin. Tidy up a tad. Yeah, if, if you guys like, um, I'll let the water out. If you like Old Spice, or if you like um, Sterling Spice, you should like this. It, it, it's not, it's not a bay roll soap, but it, it's got the same kind of DNA in it. Right, get some heat in the razor. Right, here we go guys, first pass. Gillette Slimmer Dustable, 1963. Thanks, Jerry. Gillette Spoiler Blade for the third time. Set in nine with the Grove. Nice and easy. 
while it's smooth. Well, at the moment, this blade feels like it's bl bl bland you. Bland you! Here we go! Can I ever do a video without doing that? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, that's smooth. And if any of you guys have got this soap as well, let me know what you think of it. Really nice scent. And I believe you can get the uh, C4 Spice Soap now. I think I think they uh, C4 do it in um, in a heather scent. I think I've seen it on the website. Well, how's your week gone, guys? I hope you've had a good week. I was doing okay till Wednesday. I went downtown, because I, I, I can drive okay with the ribs. I can get in the car, not too bad. Getting out takes me a little bit of time. Got back home. Walked down the drive to shut the gate, no problem. On the way back up, walking up the drive, I could feel it. Sneeze. I'm going, no, no, no. And I actually stopped what I was doing. I stopped in my tracks. And I thought I'd beat it. No. I sneezed. And I felt the rib pop. And I let out this, wow, that's a lot of whiskers. I let out um, an almighty shout, because I was in so much pain. She didn't hear me. A neighbor, two doors away, heard the noise, come running over to the drive, to the gate, and asked if I was okay. I said, no. <laughs> I said, I'm nursing a couple of broken ribs and I've just sneezed. And I'm, I'm sure he was dying to laugh. But no, a lot of pain. Got onto the doctor straight away. He said, right, I need some strong painkillers. Told him I could go on this, that, and I think. So he's prescribed me some stronger painkillers and they're working okay until they wear it off. So among them, but when the, when I'm asleep, when I do, oh, thanks, Kim. Yes, I'm sleeping a little bit better, but not much. Um, I can only sleep in one position, and it's it's the only position I never sleep in. So it's hard to fall asleep. And um, but when I do fall asleep, I'm fine until the ribs wake me up. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to get out of bed in the morning. But I'm doing okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit better with these, these tablets. Great first pass. Beautiful first pass. Yeah, so. I had to phone work up yesterday. Because I left it to the last minute. Because I wanted to see what my ribs were going to be like. Said to the boss, how are you going to be in? Sorry. And apparently you've seen the video on Facebook that I, I put on the state of the car that you guys seen last last Wednesday. He'd seen it. He said, I wonder when you were going to phone me. I said, well, I left it to see how I was to see if I could still come in, but there's no way. And I told him what the doctor said. Because I've got to be careful with the painkillers so I don't feel too safe, if you like, because I can't feel any pain, that I don't do something and it pops and punches my lung. So up to now, I still might have to go into hospital and get it checked properly. But other than that, I'm all good. Me and Mrs. B are all good, so thanks guys. Really meant a lot that day. 
Right, this soap, which I wouldn't expect anything else from PAA, is absolutely superb. It feels great on the skin. I'm going to leave it on nine. I've got um, the cube, the slickness that you can feel is superb as well. Sorry, second pass across the growth. This is a great shave. I'm, I'm able, to, I'm okay with my right arm moving stuff. It's when I use the left and it stretches the right hand side. But anyway, enough about me and my ribs. I'm sure you've heard enough. How are you guys doing? Especially you guys in the States. You've had a lot of snow. So I hope you guys are safe and okay. Oh, and the hurricanes as well. Was it just one or was it two? I hope you are okay, guys. I hope you're safe and your families are safe. And you guys over here, the northeast and up north with all the snow and all the floods, I hope you're okay and your families are okay. We've got more snow forecast in North Wales. In the next couple of days, but I don't think it's going to be much. This is beautiful. Impressed with the blade, still feels like brand new after its third use. I suppose you want to go out now, don't you? Give me a minute. Let me finish this pass, yeah? Let me finish this pass and then you can say hello. And then I'll let you out. Because you've had enough now, haven't you? Yeah. She just wants food. Wow. Right, do you want to say hello and then I'll let you out? Yeah? Talking to a cat. There she is. There. Say hello. There you go. Can go out now then. Come on then. Sorry about that guys. I knew she won halfway through. What was I doing? Yeah, quick rinse. <laughs> Made up with the bowl. And I've noticed as well, it's got the ridges, it's got a pattern inside, it's got the ridges and they go anti-clockwise. They curl around, oh, they curl around anti-clockwise. And I'm right-handed so it go, goes against the grooves. If I'm left-handed, does that make a difference in the, um, in the lathering? I don't suppose it does. But I'm interested, if you guys are left-handed and you've got the same bowl, let me know if there's a difference. I mean, you can swirl it both ways, I know that. I'm just curious. I'm curious like a cat. Curiosity killed the cat, didn't it? No, I'll take that back. I didn't say that. The Gillette Slimmer... Adjustable is a great first vintage for anybody who's thinking about getting one with its adjustability and it's a fantastic shave. And I believe, I haven't got one, I do want a, a Gillette Fat Boy for the collection, purely for the collection for the den. But I believe, could be wrong, that the uh, Fat Boy shaves just the same as the Slim Adjustable. 
but I've also heard it's a slightly bit more of an aggressive head on it. Leave it on nine. Nine. Third pass against the growth guys. Wow, good feedback. I was just thinking that Molly should get with Pavarotti, Paul H's, um, Cap Alice, they could do a duet. <laughs> She only gets like that in the morning, I don't know, it's on the evening. As you know, this has been filmed the day before, so it, it's Friday evening. Love this razor. It's gonna be one of my favourite classics. Vintage, sorry. Yeah, it's a classic vintage, isn't it? What is it? Vintage classic? I don't know. I love it anyway. It's a third different razor. I've had this spoiler in there as well. Certainly interested to see how many shaves I get out of it. I think Paul H had um, 11 out of 1. And I'm not sure if it was you, Sean, or Rick. It was one of you. I do apologise. It was a few shaves ago. He said you'd had 21 shaves out of one blade. Certainly interesting to find out. I'm going to use it as an adjustable now because I'm going to turn it down and touch just for the top bit. I don't want it that aggressive. It's not overly aggressive, it's very, very comfortable. But well, I'm going to go from a nine yeah. to a five. Oh, that, that's not good. My hands are slippy. My hands are slipping from the cube. There we go, guys. Number five, if you can see it. Come alive, number five. Do you remember that film? Five alive. Trying to be careful. Great feedback. Losing, losing, here we go again. Using the buffing technique on the top left. I find that really works well for me. Great for getting up to the lip, uh, the nostrils. God, not with it today. Tied and dosed. Who said tight and dozy? Yeah, probably that as well. Impress with the blade.
just a little bit on the top of it now and that's it. We'll go for the pickups. Scent last all the way through the shave. Performance is excellent as always. Yeah, there's a lot of butter in this base for the soap. I mean, personal prefer preference. I do like tallow based. Just personal preference, but there's nothing wrong with vegan soaps. Not that I've tried anyway. That's beautiful. So leave it on five for the pickups. <sighs> Plenty of soap in the bowl. We had a, a tad of water on that. Head, but I can't reach over my head to stretch the skin. That's why there's no air cut still. I was hoping to get it either done today or Sunday. I don't think that's going to happen. There's not a great deal there anyway. Fantastic shave. I still think about the history of these these vintage razors, who owned it, and what did you do for a living? Did you have a family? Could have been a gangster, anything. Could have been anybody. If they could only talk. Wow. What a beautiful shave. Wow. Fantastic. Curled water rinse. And you know me. Hello. Alan Block. I love the Alan Block. Just a tiny bit of feedback on the old Lipperoonie. Yeah, just on the lip, just a bit on the top lip, that'd be the, the buffering to get it really close. Every time, in the mouth. Now that's beautiful. Kill water is again. Don't know why I'm talking like that. A bit of a blue thing going on. Thanks, Mrs. B. Nice fluffy towel. Nice, fresh, fluffy towel. And that's a beautiful shave, guys. That is close. It's 
It's BBS. Wow. After shave and bar, we got the match. We got a match. There you go, guys. Dive down. Yep, it says there, homage to a lost classic. And if it smells like the original, is that going to come up? Oh. If it smells like the original, there's lots of to smell the original. I'll go with that, guys. Pizza eyes. Not worm size this time. It's an aftershave and balm in water. Wow. Bit of menthol in that as well. I'm not, I wasn't sure if there's a bit of menthol in the soap. I, I haven't really read up on it that much, to be honest with you. I'm not going to put it over the eyelids. So I might put a bit on my forehead. And the log holes. Wow. That is a beautiful shave, guys. Actually, let's get a bit on the arms as well, what's left on the hand, and then rinse off. Waste that one up. Was it one not waste not? I don't know, it's one of them. Right. That is a fantastic shave. So, Diver Down, Phoenix Artisan Recruitments, PAA. Don't you just love the artwork on these? on these tubs guys that is beautiful <clears throat> love them absolutely love them recommend that if you like old spice or sterling spice you'll like that not quite a bay rum um but it's on those lines but beautiful scent and you can see how quick it lathered up and it lasted on the on the face and everything and the scent lasted immense as well it, it right through the, the shave we used the Gillette Slim Adjustable setting nine for the first two passes, uh, setting five for the, th th I was gonna say the last two passes, the third pass and the uh, pickups. And inside there we have the Gillette Spoiler for its third use, made up with that blade. Thanks Jerry as well. The brush was the Yaki two pound budget, 24 mil, with the aqua handle, lovely brush, really, really nice brush. We used the new timeless bowl, absolutely made up with that bowl. That, that was really good. That was really good, as you can see. The, I didn't do too bad. Pre-shave was the coupe. If I can keep all of it, cracking pre-shave. Nothing but slickness. And then we used Good old Welsh water, and we used alum. And to finish it off, the matching aftershave jelly and star jelly and bomb. Beautiful stuff. Feels really fresh on the skin, that, that bit of mint. Beautiful. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, like I say, if, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, jump on board, and uh, thanks for joining me on this shave. All of you, leave me your comments underneath. Let me know about whether you've got your thoughts on the diet down and everything, uh, the spoiler blade and, and everything else. Leave me in the comments. Guest appearance was Molly the Cat. Thanks, Molly. Um, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. Um, much appreciate it and thank you for your well wishes. Mrs. B thanks you as well. She told me to mention it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So have a fantastic weekend, guys. Smooth shaves and whatever you do, be safe. And I'll see you on the next shave. Thanks, guys. See you then. Bye.